Hello, my name is Barbara and today I will be showing our preliminary results where we investigated the value of APT and glutamate with a cest at 7 Tesla to compare to gadolinium contrast enhanced images of uh, high grade gliomas. Thank you for watching. I have nothing to declare. Currently, glioma patients undergo a standard MRI protocol for diagnosis and disease monitoring. This includes uh, regular anatomical images and also a gadolinium contrast enhanced T1 scan. However, the use of gadolinium for the latter scan is uh, invasive and there is even evidence suggesting that it may accumulate in healthy tissues such as in the brain. Therefore, the development of an alternative and non-invasive method is essential. On the other hand, CEST, chemical exchange saturation transfer, provides endogenous contrast from metabolites and proteins. It works by applying an RF label specific to the pool of interest, and then the protons of that pool will exchange with those of water. However, the relationship between different cesspool contrasts in high-grade gliomas remains unclear. Therefore, our goal was to compare APT, NOE, and glutamate weighted cest contrast with gadolinium contrast enhancement in high-grade glioma patients at 7 Tesla. For this preliminary work, we included three patients and all were pathologically confirmed glioblastomas. The anatomical images were scanned at 3T as part of the regular clinical imaging workflow. And we prospectively scanned the patients at 7 Tesla to acquire the CES scans. The CES data was firstly post-processed, correcting for B0 and B1 inhomogeneities. And glutamate weight assess analysis included the spectra and MTR symmetry calculation. To analyze the APT and NOE CES data, we fitted the Z spectra to a five pool Laurentian model and um, CES metrics for each pool with correction for spillover MT and T1 relaxation were calculated. And in the end, uh, it yielded uh, the AREX contrast, which stands for apparent exchange dependent relaxation. Our results from a non enhancing glioblastoma, which can be seen on the post catalinium T1, shown an increase in glutamate weight assessed contrast in the tumor lesion. And this can be clearly observed on the lower image where the cest contrast is um, shown for the tumor lesion only. On the other hand, we saw a decrease for APT cest contrast and as well as for the NOE cest contrast. And this again can be seen uh, clearly for the tumor lesion on the bottom row. Our results from the uh, enhancing tumor as it is uh, observed on the post gadolinium T1, showed an overall increase in uh, glutamate way cest contrast in the uh, contrast enhancing uh, rim, as it is uh, visible on the bottom row. And as expected, we also observed an overall increase in APT contrast and a decrease in uh, NOE. And it is interesting to notice um, this uh, increase and decrease in contrast, respectively, um, overlaying the uh, contrast uh, enhancement on the uh, post catalinium uh, T1. Similarly, in the second patient with an enhancing tumor, we could also see an overall incre increase in glutamate weight assessed contrast corresponding to the contrast enhancing lesion that can be seen in the post-contrast T1 on the upper left corner. And as expected, we also saw an overall increase in uh, APT and decrease in uh, NOE contrast in this same uh, contrast enhanced lesion. 
In conclusion, our study was a proof of concept where we could establish a relationship between tumor enhancement and the contrast from different cesspools. More specifically, we could for the first time establish the relationship between glutamate weight cest and uh, gadolinium enhancement. And our results suggest that cest contrast could be an alternative method to gadolinium based contrast imaging. However, future work is needed to verify her proof of concept in a larger group of patients. I would like to thank you for your attention and, and everyone who has contributed and of course all the patients who have uh, volunteered for this uh, study. Okay.